What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into So Real Tea. Um, I'm a perfect broke ex. I don't know. And she's talking about Neek and King. Let's get into it. Has Neek responded yet? I doubt it. So Real Gang, how are we doing today? Let's get into the video. You guys all know Jazz recently got out of the hospital from getting her hysterectomy done. And you guys all know India was at her house to help her. Well guys, since then India has been hanging out with a new young man. She even stated on Twitter the other day that Josh booked her a trip for her birthday and she was so excited. Last night, Jazz took to Twitter and stated, every time I lose one, I bounce back with two. A few minutes later, here India goes. If having hoes still excite you, grow up. She did not stop there, guys. She kept going and she stated, all that talking be cat. Don't fall victim to the bullshit. Then she stated, ain't it's change, I see. Y'all know what's so funny. Every time something happened to them, they be trying to give us the lesson. <laughs> Am I the only one that noticed it? Don't ever fall in love with your baby daddy twice. Because what he going to do is exactly what he just did to her. And then they try to give us the advice. That is the funniest part of all of this. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> it's given. She's a little upset about something. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Now let's get into Kaiser. He dropped a video last night, guys. And let's just get into it because he had a whole lot of nothing to say. Oh, and damn. Let me just start this off by saying I'm not being biased to anyone in this situation. I'm just going to speak my personal opinion when it comes to this, especially as a mom as well. I think a lot of men get it confused and, and think that, because he moved on and he's in a situation with the new women and also have kids with this young lady that his first child isn't as much as a priority. I don't know, guys. You comment down below and let me know am I wrong about anything that I'm saying because he stated that he was going to buy Kaiser an outfit and he had an outfit in mind for Kaiser. But he stated before he bought it, he asked, you know, the grandmother, did she have any slacks for Kaiser? Which I get it. But I think when it comes to an engagement party, just like the wedding, that is a very important thing. And not only was Kaiser supposed to be matching with his sisters, he should have been matching with his dad as well. So even though they had on white, why do Kaiser need to be in black pants when you're in? So it's a, it's not a should have. He didn't have to match him. But naturally, especially most of us as women, I feel like. Like some of the feminine women, they dress alike with their daughters. Sometimes they even dress alike with their sons. I think that's a thing. Don't get me wrong. That is a thing. Because we all said the same thing. Like, nigga. And then the suit that King had on was fly. My son would have been in that suit. But anyway, maybe that's just not what he was going for. That's just what it's giving me. It's just not what he was going for. Like... I just want him to have on something regular right quick because this ain't about them. So that's why I feel like the kids shouldn't have been there. I ain't going to cap. If it wasn't about the kids at all, like, this is just not a kid thing. The kids shouldn't have been there. Simple and plain. You're in a nude, cream, creamish outfit. Why the hell should your son be wearing black? He should have had on a white top and the same pants you had on, respectfully. And I'm sorry to say, but... Anyone that's getting engaged, a stepmother, a stepfather, everybody knows that we all color coordinate. I don't care if it was something that- That's I a fact. <laughs> Most of us absolutely do that. That's why I said this was a choice. Because for him to not feel that way, I think it's crazy. I, me, if I were a man, like I said, me being me, put it like this. If I had a son, especially a little son, Bro, he dressing like me every day. <laughs> every single day. We dressing alike. We go to the gym, we dressing alike. We go to Walmart, we dressing alike. We going to color coordinate all day long. But that's not his thing, I guess. Had to get out of the closet. You make sure it's color coordinated so everyone can look apart and everyone can look on one accord. What we're going on is just about my engagement party. Something that I had planned special with me and my fiance. We both had this special for us. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't about nobody else. This wasn't about none of the kids. It was about me and her. Now, before I get into that point, I'm going to start off with the root of it when it came to between me and her mama having a conversation about Kaiser clothes. Now, to start off on this, me and her talked two weeks before the engagement party. Um, I called her. 
one of the days, um, Kaiser was with her. He was playing with his cousin, you know what I'm saying? They was out having them time, having a little fun or whatever. And me and Ho was on the phone. I asked her, is you coming out anytime soon because I'm having a party? And she asked me what day, and I was like, well, it's gonna be like the next Saturday or whatever. And she was like, yeah, I'm supposed to be coming out there and so and so, and for her own reason. Me and her reason, me and her talking, we never said anything about Neek. It was no conversation with Neek. It was nothing about Neek. It was just because me talking to her because she had she my kid. So I asked her in the conversation, like, you know, like, hey, do you guys have um, white shirt, black slacks? Because I, you know, you know, I know he go to church with y'all, and um, she was like, I'm pretty much sure that he probably do have it in the house. When I get home, I'ma look, I'ma look and see. I was like, okay, cool, just let me know. So our conversation have um, his white shirts and white slacks because I'm like, it's getting to that, it's getting to that point. Like I was going to buy his stuff regardless anyway, but it's just like I asked, and you told me you was gonna look and see. So I was waiting on that. I was waiting on that answer to be told to me. So if I had to go buy it, I would have went bought it. If I didn't have to go buy it. I didn't have to go buy it because he had it. That's like really like simple. Like if it's co-parent, if he have something over there and I call an ex and you do have it, vice versa, if you call me if he got something over there, like the um shirt and she said the entertainment. That's my he's in a total different mind state than everybody else. Him and Lena, apparently, because Elena feel Lena feels the same way. But what Lena specifically said was the sisters was matching. And they had dresses in the closet. Now, what comes to my mind with the dresses in the closet is these two fresh babies for real. So maybe, you know, they got gifted these dresses. You know what I'm saying? One, one, one in the chat. Especially when you do, um, you know, like baby showers and things like that. They get the baby stuff up to three years old type. You know what I'm saying? So maybe they were new. I don't know. They were fresh. Like she said, I just got them out of the closet. They just had no interest in like inclusion for the kids. I don't. Oh, girl, this is messy. <laughs> I just don't know. She said that, you know, she'll look and see again. Same thing she had told me on the phone verbally. She takes me that again. So she ended up having it. She ended up having a white shirt and some slacks. So she was like, um, she was going to bring it out here and stuff when she come. But she was supposed to be here that Friday, but she ended up making it that Saturday. So she was like, I'll be out there to bring it or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. So Friday night, because it could have got dropped off to me. Cause we were supposed to get a haircut that morning. I got a haircut that morning, eight o'clock a.m. I text, I text her mama, eight o'clock a.m. Saturday, just to check on like where y'all was at. Because Saturday, I didn't get a call from y'all. I didn't talk to y'all. So Saturday morning, I text and said, "Good morning. You know, did y'all make it in time? Cause I was just getting my haircut on the chair. Cause Kyle was supposed to get a haircut with me if he would have got dropped off at Friday night too. I didn't get a response, so I called. I called her. She texted me back and said, "One sec. Okay. Now it's like 12:30 now. From eight o'clock to like 12:30 p.m. She texted me back, and um, me and her actually got on the phone because I was driving." I was going somewhere and she was talking. She was like, hey, explain. Um, we just leaving out there. We just leaving from the house. I end up leaving his stuff. So now I'm driving. I'm like, dang. So now we on the phone. And I'm like, well, I'm about to go run to Target right quick or run. I'm about to run to the store. I know. We already watched all this, y'all. Get it, but get it. But then she ended up saying, got for Kaiser. And then Nick. he also stated that okay. I didn't talk to Nick. I haven't had a conversation with Nick. My kid was with your mama. Last time me and her talk was after Easter. She dropped Kaiser Harp here. Me and Nick had a face to face and he came to my house. We talked outside. It was just me and her outside. She now he also stated that if it was a problem for Nick paying for the clothes, she should have just wrote him and he wouldn't have mind sending the money at all. Which I'm totally disagree with everything because it's nothing wrong with buying an outfit for your child and then on top of that asking the grandmother just to see if she has one. And you could have simply returned your outfit. They give you a return date. They give you more than enough time to and that's a fact. <laughs> turn the outfit if you don't want it or you did not use it so that's the proper way to do things i would have made sure my child had an outfit and if i didn't use it i would have brought it back or you keep it for a next event because if you didn't even buy an outfit for the engagement party i can only imagine what you're gonna do when it comes to the wedding because the same engagement party outfit you could have used for the wedding if it's going to be the same colors i'm just saying and then he stated that Neek's oh, mom sure. had bought an outfit originally and Neek didn't like it because she felt it wasn't nice enough for the engagement party. And Neek is not wrong at all. My child is not going to an engagement party looking like he's going to whatever. I don't know. But So here's my problem with that. Because I agree, but at the same time, I don't. I feel like that's his party. That's her child. That's his child. But that's his party. So if simplicity was bliss for him, so be it. If he would have brought the damn black slacks and the white top, we wouldn't even be here right now. 
Now, a lot of y'all would have had an issue with his outfit, Garam Run T, including Neek. I think it was more so like, you ain't about to have my son out there looking like he going to a charter school or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because that's what a white, a white button up and black slack sounds like that. You know? Uh, I think that she wanted to add something to it, but that was her decision, right? So with that being her decision, I don't think it should have been said on that video because it was, it was said in a shady way. A lot of y'all say it wasn't, um, and that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but if I'm doing something and not trying to be messy with it, y'all ain't even gonna know. Uh, it's nothing to talk about. Let me just, I need to have, I'm gonna still do my vlog, but I just got to get a Kaza outfit right quick for, um, whatever his daddy got going on. But that's not, she didn't just say that. And that's another thing. I need to react to that video. But from all the clips I keep seeing, she was like, because he ain't get him nothing to wear. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of starting shit. That's all, y'all. It's just starting a little bit of shit, you know? Um, but I, I, where I agree, and I'm sorry, I'm just disagreeing and agreeing at the same time. Um, <clears throat> I would have want my son to be fresh. I would have. Whether he going to his party, his event or not, I need my boy to be fresh. So, I get it. I get it. I get it. But you want your kids looking good and you want them looking sharp. And I don't think Neek did anything wrong. She had all right to make sure she bought an outfit that was to her par because you didn't buy it. So if you didn't care how your son looked, she needed to make sure her son looked how she wanted him to, to attend that party, which I still don't blame Neek for because she still allowed her son to go there even after not having an outfit, even not after having a haircut. And I, and I also agree with that because his ass wouldn't have went all together. Like, when I speak on things, I speak from the place of how I feel, what I feel like they should have done, um, and just what it really is, what happened. Ultimately, <clears throat> where I, I would have been, he wouldn't have went. He wouldn't have went. Lord knows he wouldn't have went. I would have been like, hold on, he, he ain't getting on my outfit? No. Why? Because I'm talking to my mama at this point. Why? I don't know, uh, child. I got this. <laughs> Did he tell you to get that? Yeah. You know what he wearing? Girl, I got questions. He would have been pissed at me because I would have had to call him. Hey, I know you talk to my mama, but um, what you wearing to the thing? I'm trying to get y'all to color coordinate because you ain't color coordinating correctly. And if it would have became an argument, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't have went. That's number one. That's their age me. <laughs> My age, me, is really nothing to talk about. And I'm saying that because you just didn't get the outfit in the first place. I have to give y'all two examples because of the age difference. It's an age difference here. But with her being a mom, her wanting things to go a certain way, him not helping in general from what Neek says and things like that, I feel like that's why it went the way that it did go. But y'all let me know what y'all think about Neek buying that outfit and kind of like making it, making the outfit look better than what King wanted. Was she wrong for that? Let me know. But if I'm any, making any sense, anything like that. <laughs> Honestly, to me, I don't even feel like any of this should be being said when it comes to Lena and King's behalf because that woman still took her time out of her day to do things for you. Even if you're feeling like it was malicious and she did it to, you know, just throw it in your face, you shouldn't give these people no reason, nothing to throw in your face. Because like you said, when he's with you, he's well taken care of and so forth. When he's with his mom and his grandmother, he's well taken care of. Why is it that you want him to come to your party, but he's not taken care of? It doesn't make any sense. And then he also touched on the topic of when Neek stated she asked King to get Kaiser you know summer clothes because he was growing out of clothes and King stated that she asked him for $200 and he actually sent that to the grandmother anything and I definitely want to sign that for you because you know it wouldn't have been a problem oh yeah another thing too I heard I did I just sent your mama some money for Kaiser spring clothes 
you just came over here to me and told me the situation on why I had to send $200 off your behalf because you taking care of that side of home, which is cool. And I sent that to your mama to make sure Kaiser was straight. And if anything else, anybody else need from me, I'm never hiding. You can always call and say, hey, I need this or that. Close mouth, don't get fed. If we all having it, you shouldn't have to come to me and I shouldn't have to come to you. Because if he's in your house, if he's in your possession, I know for a fact Kaiser is taken care of. As much as you know what Kaiser with me and I have him, Kaiser is well taken care of because I never call or ask for anything for when it comes to him about anything. Or Kaiser need this or I need food in my house for Kaiser or Kaiser need some clothes. I don't do that because that's my responsibility nobody else's. I know I made a baby with you, but I still take accountability on my own responsibilities with or without you. So that's just how I feel about that. But um Listen, this is just my take on everything because I don't like to ask people for anything. So I wouldn't have not even allowed Neek to tell me that I need to get my child summer clothes. A proper co-parenting relationship to me is... You know what your child needs, just like you know what you need. He needs a haircut. He needs clothes. He needs shoes. And I don't care if he lives with me most of the times. You should still hip in on that stuff because that is what co-parenting is. I'm I'm confused. And you know what? Something I said, because she absolutely right. Something I said was, because y'all know it's petty parents out there. Like, they'll send a child back home with a wife beater and some basketball shorts with some walmart slides on because they got clothes already at their house that they not sending back with you y'all know in the black community we have issues we have a lot of issues but we definitely have issues in that area however i was absolutely wrong for saying that um what i think i said anyway was him i was trying to figure out why she wanted him to send him back with clothes but it's because nigga chip in on the clothes but his point is he got clothes over here Two different styles of parenting, which means it ain't co-parenting. This is a mess. Fuse. It's nothing wrong with saying, this is okay, a mess. Ne if my son is with Neek's mom half of the year, at least let me send her $100 a week, $1,000 a month. It doesn't matter what your budget is. You could send $50 a week or $50 a day just for that child to get something to eat. Nobody thinks about that. Your child is eating every day. And he's not a baby. He's eating whole meals. This right. child needs clothes. This child needs a haircut. This child wants toys. This child wants games. He want to do things. He want also a problem where he coming from is she got him at his she got him at her mama house for the school year, but nigga she, she do because you wasn't handling your business when she gave you the chance to have him there for the school year. It's this is a mess to go on vacation too and yes <clears throat> you may not be with neek but you should still provide those things with her that is what proper co-parenting is hey i'm not there but here my money is there you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter who the child lives with like i said i could be wrong this is just my intake and how i perceive you know like a proper co-parenting relationship i don't care what agreement we have he grew up you know around his mom and his dad being married for 27 years and he knows how to treat and you know and, and and treat his kids and he knows how to be a man but i don't think this is man behavior because real men even if they're not with their baby mother and they don't like their baby mother they, they still pay they still take care of their child they still do so many things so for someone that you telling me you guys are cordial sometimes then why is it so hard for you to text her and call her and just ask her hey you know i haven't been around i haven't got kaiser anything for a while what do he need Honey let me tell y'all something co-parenting wise this way it ain't no conversation <laughs> because to be quite frank with you we ain't asking for nothing if you ain't automatically giving it we're not asking for it because clearly you ain't trying to give it so i see why she don't ask him for nothing now i really see and i thought it would be a difference because see we have teenagers uh kaiser is like seven maybe six so they kind of gotta talk unfortunately but when it comes to asking a nigga for something that's the part King ain't getting. I'm not about to ask you for shit. Go ahead. Do what you're supposed to do. But if you don't have rules and regulations on what's supposed to be done, a nigga ain't going to do it. And that's the point where y'all coming from. I completely understand. So if y'all were Nick, would you ask for anything? I wouldn't. Wouldn't ask for a damn thing. Um, and that's just kind of how I feel on that.
uh, I do understand where y'all coming from now, especially because I shouldn't have to, but you should have a, uh, some type of agreement. And this is why I said go to court because y'all need to have an agreement on what's getting taken care of. You know, honestly, you should be buying his summer clothes. She's buying everything else. You should be buying his summer clothes. You should be buying his school clothes. Yeah, like too, like more things were said even about like my kid birthday party that was like last year. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody paying for that. Like, bro, truthfully, like me and mama threw that party. So you know what? Cause y'all brought it up to me about what happened at Kaiser's um birthday party last year. King. If his mom uh Neek Mama got bouncy houses and things like that. That party was probably three to $5,000. I had no idea it was bouncy houses and all that. Y'all I'm, I don't keep up. So I had no idea. And if that's the case, nigga, I don't care if the, if the party was at her house, that shit costs a lot of money and not $200. Cause King was like, I sent $200. That's not enough. This ain't enough. <laughs> Neek Mama threw that whole party. And I got messages and proof. Oh, my God. Of me and Lena asking Jacinda, Neek Mama, do she need anything from us? Do she want us to bring anything? That party was so last minute. That's why it was thrown at Neek Mama. The party was so last minute. We were supposed to do something else. Actually, they caused the birthday was supposed to be originated in Orlando, Florida. Because Neek had what she had going on with the basketball, whatever, wide stuff going on. And that got canceled on that. It was just too much, too much going on on that. So Jacinda was like, she'll throw the party at her house. We text and ask. Do y'all need us to bring anything? Well, do you know I'm like, what it look like me not pulling up to my own kid's birthday party at the grandparent house? And I'm pulling up, putting up. <laughs> Two different things, gang. I'm invited and I'm told to come. I asked, what do I need to do? What was what? Nobody said anything to me. Everything was already handled. They actually wanted me to be in a Spider-Man suit. And if we ain't talking like that or we ain't cool like that, I'm going to throw my own party for them. Y'all throw your own party, I throw my own. That's what we do this way. You do what you do over there, we're gonna do what we do over here. It is what it is. I even just talked to um Neek before I make this video and even said the same thing to her. It's like, I feel like y'all trying to play me then. If somebody paid for the party or whatever, nobody told me it, but just last minute. Like, it's so last year, and y'all just saying that just out of a heat of a moment, off of one small thing. So much being said off of a t shirt and some slacks that somebody had to go get. And then on top of that, he also spoke about the party that Neek said Dwayne had to pay for. To be honest, I don't care if the party was at the grandmother house. I don't care where it was at. You should pay for that. You are the father of that child. That money should have already been. Oh, we should at least go half on it. And sent. You don't ask the grandmother, oh, what do I need to bring? Oh, what do you need from me? It ain't no, what do you need from me? It's what do you have to offer us? Okay? If you are the father, you should be calling me and the grandmother and saying, hey, I have $1,000. Hey, I have $500. Hey, I have $100 towards whatever you guys plan on doing for my son's party whatever it is i want to contribute i don't want to just show up i'm sorry guys if i'm a little loud <laughs> it just like it didn't piss no, me I get off it. but it's kind of pissing me off because people don't see how important it is when it comes to these children like he's sitting here saying all of this and the only one that is being affected is his son the only one that feels unloved is his son that's the only fact. one that's not being properly taken care of is his his son that's that is where it hurts me because oh my god you also have two beautiful young girls and you're there for them more than you're there for your son and i'm happy that you can be there for your daughters but you also have to do the same for your child as well no child should grow up without seeing both of their parents equally you know what i mean however it is even if it's even if Neek is flying in a few days out of the week, at least she's there. When we see Neek and Kaiser, that boy is loved. He's having the the time of his life. It doesn't matter if she's not able to be there every single day because she has to work twice as hard because she's not getting any financial help or any help at all from the father of her child. That mm. shit is is tough. And yeah, we may see Neek out enjoying herself a lot, but at the end of the day, she's an influencer. This is a part of her lifestyle that she has to live in order for her to work. Well, the same for him, but he need to be putting up a bag, point taken. But it is the same for him. I'm not justifying nobody's actions, but the both of them need to be do better. 
And yes. then Lena, as the stepmother, she needs to do three times as much because you're the one coming in, knowing the situation that this man is already in. You should be coming in and fixing that. You should be reaching. Nah, you can't fix no nigga. Can't raise a man, okay? Uh-uh. Nah, I can't do that. But what she can do is jump in where the hell she should be fitting in at. Baby, what we doing for Kaiser Party? I know what's coming up. When is April 21st? What we doing? Oh, go ahead and get, get 1500 together. Let's, yeah. Let's let Neek know we got 1500 on our end. Some. Shooting out to Neek. You should be making sure, hey, Neek, I have this going on with the girls. Can Kaiser come? Hey, this, 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 this. To be honest, if I could have had my child for the school year, I would have did that. King also put a little a little statement at the end of his video where he said that he's tried multiple times to get Kaiser, you know, during the school year, which is like, Hey, I mean, if you are, but if your son can't be in school in Houston and he has to be in school in Louisiana, then I see no problem with that because I want my child to be in school too. Then my child not being in school and he's just running around all day and doing what adults do. But yeah. you know what guys, y'all comment down below and let us know how you feel. Like, am I wrong? Like, am I asking for too much as a co-parent? <laughs> like, no, seriously, because I would love to know, like I'm such a nice person and I love to give without anyone asking me for anything. So the fact that I see a co-parenting relationship like this and they both are well established and well profitable, this shit needs to be better. Like it needs to be better. Come to a better common ground. If we need to live down the street from each other or something just so your son don't feel as if you don't love him, Man. then maybe that's what we need to do. So but I don't know y'all. Y'all comment down below and let us know what you think. What's been taught to me even better. So that's my big thing on that part of like even too like um, I feel as though that a woman cannot teach a man how to raise his child. Um, you can't teach him how to do shit. To be honest with you, you, I, you just let them do them, or you go to court. And even though sometimes you can, can go to court and it still don't happen, cool. That's why laws are put in place. Or you just don't say nothing at all, nigga. Don't worry about nothing because it's already taken care of anyway. That's how I handle it. That's how I'm going to continue to handle it because it's just not worth the time. It's not worth the stress. If somebody really want to do something, they're going to do it. So um, to y'all's point, that's what it seems like. Like, like he's not. He's not going to take the initiative. He's not going to uh, go to the third mile or whatever. I just, he ain't got it. Sometimes it got to be in you, not on you. It should be because he was raised, you know, uh, two-parent household, 27 years of marriage. That's, that's that's a good representation. You know what I'm saying? But just because you raise a certain weight on me, you're going to act that way. So. I don't know. I'm ready for Nick to respond, girl, because I'm tired of talking about the same thing. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.